All right, how's it going, everybody? See what I got on today. I got this two days ago. And uh, this is the Joker 4.0 from Rorop. And guys, I can tell you the, the 4.0 feels a lot different than the 3.0. The padding, the 3.0 I got the Reaper and I said on that helmet in my review that it was very comfortable but they needed thicker pads. Uh, about 80 to 100 after you get past that, the 3.0, because the pads wasn't tight, wanted to start it to lift off. This 4.0 fits fantastic. Very, it's very firm on your head. It's a little tight going on, coming off. But once it gets on there, it's very comfortable. It's very snug on your face. It's just a great fit. It does not lift going fast. It's a little windy today. You do get some the noise from the air. I put those uh, those four them uh, foam ear pieces in. Uh, I wrote it one day without them. I put it in the following day, which was yesterday, and they helped quite a bit. I always do wear, ride with earbuds anyway, earbuds, and uh, the air noise and stuff ain't really a big deal anyway, but you really tell a difference putting them foam pads in the ear places. But this, this helmet, man, it feels so much different than the 3.0. It's very, like I said, it's very snug fitting. I love the Joker look. As you see, I got the uh, older, also the green mirror tint. Um, I also rode with this in the rain. It did. It did very well. Uh, I rode it uh, not yesterday, but day before. The first day I got it, it was uh, in the morning. It was 61 degrees. Then yes, this this morning when I come home from work, it was 37 degrees, and both my vents were open, the front and the top. And I can tell you this, my 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 head still stay warm. Of course, you know I got you know I'm bald. I didn't have anything on and it stayed warm on the 3.0 I generally don't wear it when it's cold if I do I put uh, some kind of cap on or something because that thing gets a lot of air inside of it it's it's cold in the winter time but really there, there's a, a very night and day difference in the 3.0 and this one this one doesn't move at all on your face going high speed uh, going over a hundred it doesn't have that lift feeling. It's very firm on your side of your face. It doesn't push on your cheeks. It's more uh, form-fitting on your cheekbones, kind of down to your jawline instead of on your cheeks. Uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, I can probably, you know, this is probably what I'll be wearing most of the time. Uh, this mirror tint seems to be a little bit darker than the uh, this green and the silver mirror tint I got on my Reaper. So it's just a tad darker when it's dark, but I can still see decent, especially with this new head, the LED headlights I put in my bike. I can see a whole lot better. But overall. I love this helmet, dude. 
Um, I did get the thicker pads for my 3.0. I haven't tried them out yet. I, I started switching them out. I can tell you, as far as the top piece in the helmet, it just don't seem to fit the same as the one that come with it. So I don't know how that's going to go. They don't seem to, it don't seem to fit back as good. But if y'all are on the fence about getting the 4.0, uh, I would do it. I mean, it fits good. I, I wear a large in all my helmets, and this is a medium large uh, in the 4.0. It fits great. Like I said, it's a little snug going on and all, but once you get it on, it, it, it fits great. The the visor seems a little stiffer than the 3.0 going up and down, but I might just be having to work it in. Not really sure about that, but I mean, it still opens and locks fine. Uh, but I, I love the look, look at this Joker. And like I said, uh, it does, you know, you do have the the noise from the, the air. Uh, the foam pads do lessen it. it. It makes quite a bit of difference in my opinion. And I wear earbuds all the time when I listen to music anyway. I mean, I'm doing it right now. And it... It makes a big difference with the foam pads in there. I mean, you can really tell a difference. But I like just the fact that it feels like my other helmets. It don't move around at all. Where the 3.0, the 3.0 really, I mean, it, it's comfortable. But once you get, like I said, 80 to 100, it starts getting that, where it kind of wants to lift off your head. Feeling. And... This one doesn't do it at all. This one seems a little bit heavier than the 3.0, but I but I think that's because of the thicker cheek pads. So I believe that's why that is. But overall, yeah, I I have no issues with this helmet. This helmet's great. The they really really improved the pad and pads in it it's a uh, I, I definitely definitely recommend the 4.0 uh, it's it's really a step above the 3.0. I never had the 2.0 or whatever, but I had I had the 3.0 Reaper, and the, the fit's just a thousand times better fitment. All right, guys. That's all I'm gonna say about the helmet. We're just I done a box opening on it uh, when I got it. Uh, I'm going to work. I just ain't had time to go out and ride with it, so I thought I'd throw the, the Insta360 on my bike and kind of make a small review, get it out there. Uh, so if anybody's out there, you know, is on the fence about getting it, they're a little expensive, but you know, guys, you only live once. Get do what makes you happy. If you got a 2 or 3.0 and you're on the fence about, well, would it make that much big of a difference if I got the 4.0? Yeah, it, it, it's a, a big difference the way this one fits compared to the 3.0. I mean, they're both very comfortable, but the 3.0, it just, it just, the pads are not thick enough and it moves around a lot. This one, it, oh, it's very good. And I love this Joker look. Oh, it's Friday. I hate working on weekends. But with this 4x4, this is every other month, man, you get your rotation of the weekend. It's supposed to be around freezing. 
in the morning when I get off. Of course, that's North Carolina for you, man. The weather just bounces all over the place when it gets to this time of year. Still waiting on my S1000 double R to get to the dealership. Hopefully it gets here soon. They supposed to be, I got a message this morning, they supposed to be uh, my building ready for delivery, but I didn't hear nothing more after that. They sent me a text, so uh, hopefully it either comes in the morning or I'm off work Monday, so hopefully it comes Monday or sometime when I'm off work. Because it's, man, I tell you, after 12 hours of work, it's rough staying up late trying to wait for somebody. Man, they got a back up there for some reason. And, uh, still a little cool out here today. It was like 70 the other day, and it's supposed to be like 61 out here now, but it feels cool. The air is cool. This weather in North Carolina, man, I tell you. You never know what season you're going to get. It goes day by day. It changes so much. Stop by uh, Subway. Just a couple of subs for work. Longhorn sounds good. I don't know where this car thinks they're going. You gonna keep pulling out in traffic, buddy? Look at this idiot.
I'm glad I got my camera rolling to catch that. I don't know what they were doing. I'm about ready to cause an accident. Yeah, I did it there.